Today we'll be doing a 15 minute beginner core workout. Let's start right away with the kneeling hip flexor stretch. So starting from the kneeling position, place your right foot out in front of your right knee, tuck your tailbone and lean forward. Make sure your hips are square facing straight ahead and you're engaging your glutes. We'll do this once on each side for 30 seconds. Switch legs, place your left foot out in front of your left knee, tuck your tailbone, engage the glutes, and lean. If you haven't warmed up yet, that's okay. We won't be doing anything explosive today. However, if you warm up before doing these stretches, you might be able to get a little deeper into each stretch, allowing you to make faster gains and flexibility. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for a guided warm up. Five seconds left. And time. Let's move into bird dog. On all fours, make sure your hands are right below your shoulders and your knees are right below your hips. Raise your right arm and your left leg, making sure to keep your core tight and your back flat. Work hard to keep your arm and leg as high as possible. We're holding for 30 seconds. Switch sides. Now lift the left arm and the right leg as high as possible. Squeeze the glutes. If your form is correct, we're working our abs, obliques, and glutes at the same time. Fifteen seconds left. time. Now let's go down onto our stomach for prone cobra. Place your hands on the floor by your sides with your palms facing down. Now lift your hands off the floor, rotating your palms face out. This is a 30 second hold. Keep your glutes engaged and turn your hands until your thumbs are pointing at the ceiling. Concentrate on pulling your arms toward your body and on squeezing your shoulder blades together. Don't worry about lifting your chest too high. We're not trying to work the lower back. Just keep thinking about squeezing your shoulder blades. Time. Let's go back to bird dog one more time. Okay, right arm, left leg, let's go. Keep your core tight, your arm and leg as high as possible. Squeeze the glutes. Fifteen seconds left. Time and switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Seconds left. Time. Let's go back into Cobra. Remember, start with your arms by your sides, palms face down. Lift, turning your thumbs up toward the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Try not to look up or let your head hang down. Keep your neck neutral with the back of your neck relaxed. Ten seconds left. And time.
Let's go down onto our elbows and knees for the forearm plank. Place your elbows right below your shoulders, push apart the shoulder blades, squeeze in the stomach, and tuck the tailbone. Now lift your knees for two seconds, and lower for four, three, two, one. Lift again, hold two seconds, and lower slowly again. Make sure your tailbone's not in the air, and you don't feel any pressure on your lower back. If you're squeezing your glutes, your tailbone is tucked. We're just doing short holds here for 10 reps. Every time your knees come down to touch the mat, you can check that your hips are tucked and readjust if needed. This is seven, three left. Let's flip over onto our back for a static glute bridge. Pull your heels in close enough to touch with your fingertips and raise your hips. Hold here 30 seconds. Make sure your knees and your feet are hip width and pointing straight ahead. Engage the glutes. Fifteen seconds left. And time. Let's flip over onto our hands and knees for cat cow. Make sure your hands are right below your shoulders and your knees are right below your hips. Push out your chest and hips looking up. Round your back, tucking your chin. That's one rep out of five. Stretch your abs, stretch your back. That's two. Three. Four. And five. Let's drop our elbows and go right back into the plank. Push apart your shoulders, tuck your tailbone, and lift the knees. That's one. And this is two. Keep the same tempo all the way to 10 reps. This is five. You're halfway there. slowly. Excellent. Let's flip back over into a glute bridge. Remember, pull your heels in close enough to reach with your fingertips. Check that your knees and your feet are hip width. Raise the hips and hold 30 seconds. Squeeze the glutes. Fifteen seconds left. Time. Flip back over for cat cow. Remember, hands shoulder width, knees hip width, and stretch. Round the back, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, no time to waste. This is our last set. Back to the plank. Tuck the tailbone and lift the knees. That's one. Then slowly tap or rest on the mat and lift again for two. Keep the same tempo all the way to 10.
tips and lift. Fifteen seconds left. Time. Let's do one more set of cat-cow. Let's try timing your breathing with the movement this time. Inhale as you arch your back. Exhale as you round your back. That's one, two, three, four, the last one, five. Final exercise. Let's go on to your right side. Stack your legs and place your right elbow right below your right shoulder. You can place your left hand down for support and lift your hips. We're using the same tempo as previously. Hold two seconds at the top and lower for four. For an easier variation, you can bend both legs as in the example in the top left. For a slightly harder variation, put your left hand on your hip. We're going for eight reps and we're halfway there. over to our left side, place your left elbow right below your left shoulder, right hand on the floor, and lift. Lower slowly. Halfway there. slowly and let's switch back to our right side lift for one hold and lower slowly tap the mat and lift for two keep the same tempo all the way to eight reps we're just doing two sets already halfway there set on the left. Lift for one, hold, and lower slow.
hold and lower slowly. Great job. Subscribe for more workouts each Wednesday or to check out my exercise demonstration videos. Thanks for watching.